Standing here today in the graveyard for Southleith Parish Church, uh, constructed in 1483, the building we see today is not the full extent of what was at the time one of the largest parish churches in Scotland. What we have lost is the chancel or the eastern end of the church, uh, which probably extended the church by another quarter. This was lost uh, following demolition in the, after the Siege of Leith in 1559 60 and was rebuilt by uh, James uh, VII, uh, First of England uh, in the early 17th century. And the church you see today has also been heavily been modified uh, during the 19th century. The church has a very rich and varied history through its time, mostly in part due to its uh, location on the edge of the town of Leith. Uh, as I say, structured in 1483, uh, it survived uh, relatively intact until the major siege of 1559-60 and its location on the edge of, uh, of the settlement meant that it was possibly attacked or certainly partly destroyed during those works which last that siege works lasted throughout 1559 into uh, 1560. Through that it was slightly abandoned and then of course uh, in the 1640s uh, Cromwell came up and again it was used for a military base as it were it was actually occupied as a, a gunnery store or powder store and various activities around that time. Most of the gravestones to see today are 19th and 18th century, though there are some earlier examples possibly going back into the, the 17th century. But that only tells part of the story. As we find through the excavations in Constitution Street, the graveyard, predates the actual church by over 100, maybe over 150 years, going back to the early 14th century.